right you guys so i am back with another video following our little mini vacation getaway i'm just sitting out here on the balcony you guys enjoying the view the rain has finally stopped for today the sun is shining and yeah it's just much much better out today as you guys can see we have some people out there on the beach starting to enjoy themselves and i'm just excited because the cloudiness is gone it's still a, a little bit cloudy but not as much as it was earlier and yeah it's about 82 degrees out and like i said i'm just sitting here on the balcony i was eating a piece of cake that we had got it was coconut cake here um that we got from the pencilla grill in charleston south carolina when we came through charleston yesterday um really 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 good coconut cake it was a 10 layer coconut cake so i could not eat that all in one day so i'm just nibbling on it um each day until it's gone but yeah guys finally stopped raining the heavy winds and all that kind of stuff um, we have not had an opportunity to go down to the actual beach yet, but we do plan to get out there today. Also, probably sometime after five, we're going to go and ride some go-karts um, at this little go-kart park. So, looking forward to that. And we're just chilling for today. And then tomorrow, Saturday, you know, hopefully, you know, we'll do a little bit more you know chilling relaxing on the beach and get in a pool and all that kind of good stuff but yeah i just wanted to come back out and let y'all guys see that the rain has officially stopped Whew. i was praying like lord please don't let the rain don't let it be raining the whole weekend like let's get some sun you know good weather but anyway you guys and y'all excuse my face i had took a nap earlier because it was still raining and it's like well ain't got nothing else to do so we're just sitting here in the room and i took about an hour two hour nap so now i'm up derek is still sleeping but nevertheless i said let me come out here on the balcony and pick back up the camera and talk to the my fam here but yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. I um, hope your Friday has been going well. Hopefully where you are, the rain has stopped too. Um, yeah, so that everybody can have a good weekend. If you got any plans or whatever to get out and just to, you know, do something. Hopefully the rain has stopped. But anyway, I also just wanted to chit chat with y'all some more. Like I said, I've been gone for a minute. So it's like, girl, the least you can do is is, is talk to us and, you know, do a little vlog. Um, just so y'all know, I am definitely going to start my Thankful Thursday devotionals back. People that follow the channel, y'all already know that's my thing. That's what I love to do. I love talking about the word. I love studying the word. All that good stuff. But... You girl been so distracted with just so much traumatic things that's been going on um, in my life. Nothing in my family, household or anything like that. But just, you know, dealing with some really traumatic things that has just taken place this year. And it's just been literally breathtaking. And I feel like it has literally consumed so much of my time. So much of my energy my focus everything and so it's like you know what lord i'm so ready to get back to tammy i'm ready to get back to normalcy again getting on a schedule with my devotionals and all of that so i'm definitely planning to october get back from this vacation get back on it um with posting back on my channel because y'all i really need for my channel to grow i really would like for my youtube channel to continue to grow so in order to make that happen i got to pick this camera up and i just got to do what i got to do so y'all be on the lookout for 
um, more devotionals, day in my life, vlogs, all that good stuff. Um, but I also wanted to, there are several things, you guys, that I plan to talk about on the channel. Um, things that I have, you know, some of the things that I have been dealing with, I would say from, since January 1 of this year up until now. Um, just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, they did. Um, and it's mainly dealing with, you know, me being connected to a ministry um, that I my, that I was a member at, um, which is Word Center Church. Um, and the pastor was Sonia Spence Walker. Her name is, is just all up in the social media streets. Um, everybody knows what happened. Everybody has the story. And yeah, that's something that I have been dealing with. Very, very heartbreaking, traumatic situation. Though it was not directed at me, but because I was a member of this church, because I grew up with the victim, because I attended the old church, you know, that the, um, the victim and the accused, Sonia, was was the first lady at you know you guys i have i have a lot to say you know i feel like that it's time for tammy to speak her truth this is a part in my healing process and i will say anybody that don't like it you know what sis that's your problem this is my my feelings my traumatic situation and i'm not going to allow anybody to tell me how to deal with the situation and my feelings um, but yeah, but some of the things I want to talk about throughout this traumatic situation is one, dealing with trauma and how trauma really affects the body. Two, I wanted to talk about secrets. A lot of people that know me know that I hate secrets, especially secrets that can cause traumatic things to occur in someone's life i feel like you know i rather you say i have a surprise for you than to say oh i got a secret girl i got uh, -uh. i don't like that because secrets can be deadly secrets can be can be poison secrets can cause such a life altering situation to happen in someone's life or it is it's like it causes so much casualty in 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 one's life friend groups churches relationships and it's just really sad how the situation with sonya has just exploded all over social media possibly going to your local news just everything and it, it's just it's just a sad day um but those are some of the, the, the topics that I do plan to talk about on, on the channel. Because like I said, y'all, after just when you think you know somebody, you know, just when you think that you 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 found that person besides your 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 immediate family members, but sometimes even with your own immediate family members. When you, you you feel like you can trust them, old oh, blood is thicker than water, you know, this person is ride or die for me, you know, I've been knowing this person all my life. What I've learned out of this whole traumatizing situation for me personally is, Tammy, you have to be careful about who you want allow in your life to who you allow your heart to trust because you know for me i know that the bible tells us not not to trust no one because the heart of man is evil we all are born with evil hearts all of us all human beings our hearts can be so evil at times and sometimes the the evilness for some people heart it 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 won't allow them to apologize it won't allow them to take full accountability for their actions it won't cause them to um you know to just a simple 
you know what sis i'm sorry i didn't mean to say it like that i didn't mean to do it that way. it's just like no compassion it's almost like a heartless person when your heart is so evil it's like how can you have such a calculated heart and heart towards the people towards the members of your church so like i said i won't necessarily talk about the victim but i just want to talk about my experience and what i have experienced during this whole situation and like i said you know i was there at both churches um remember you know not only was you the victims first lady but you was also my first lady sonya and it's just so heartbreaking to me to know that all these years you just lived a lie you 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 didn't even allow me the opportunity to decide if i want a woman living a double life as my leader like no that's not right i would like to think that if that was me and i lived a double life i would not i would i would my heart wouldn't allow me to lie to lie to people like that and it'd be so mischievous and so manipulative to people that's another thing manipulation y'all it is it, so crazy how people can just be so manipulative since um knowing Sonya Walker all my life literally since I was a little girl in grade school probably even before I went to middle school I knew her she knew my family and it's like you know the things that are all in the news all over social media you got big time well-known prophets and prophets prof, prophets and prophetess that are talking about your story it's just like it does not make any sense it is so heartbreaking it is such a it has caused such a catastrophic wave across the body of christ and it's sad it's sad to know that you refuse sonya refuses to apologize to the people she refuses to be still to this very day to be honest with her church of her behavior she feels like oh well i prayed about it and god has already dealt with me no that is not enough the fact that you want to be somebody's pastor overseer you want to be laying hands on people you want to be prank call yourself praying over people and this is what you do oh lord help me jesus like y'all those that know me know me know how i feel about the situation they know how hurt i have been about the situation and like i said what was done to the victim is just breathtaking but also when i think about the mental and emotional mind games that this leader this pastor played over my life even when i was a part of your church you know manipulation you you she you're good very good at gaslighting me making me think that what my reality wasn't real or oh well i think you're taking things you know the wrong way or oh don't worry about that we're gonna let the holy spirit no how can you say you're gonna let the holy spirit deliver somebody from something when the holy spirit is not even it's 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 very obvious that the holy spirit is not even active in the situation so how the holy spirit gonna deliver if they're not even dwelling within the person or the people but anyway like i said it's just it's just sad y'all it, it's so sad that we're in a day and time where you can't even trust the church i'll be honest with you and most people that know me i don't care to ever in life be a member of another building i do not trust the people in the building just because i don't trust you don't mean that i won't allow myself to worship god with you but as far as being a member absolutely not it, it, this whole situation and 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 the things that i experienced by being inside the church the things that i have experienced by knowing a pastor for over almost 30 years of my life 
and to know that this is who you this is this is who you are you know i don't know how else to look at it because you've never came out and said anything else differently you haven't come out and denounced or rebuked or corrected the allegations and the things that has been said against you so i have no choice but to think that you you've been in the closet all these years and it's really sad and it's disgusting and it doesn't make any sense and everybody know i'm not afraid to speak my piece like i ain't shutting up i have a whole lot to say i ain't afraid of the devil because the devil is a liar yeah 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 victory is mine yeah 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 i ain't studying the devil and i ain't studying your little mediocre threats and all that foolishness from you look from from your the get along crew don't nobody care nothing about that i don't like i said it's my truth freedom of speech i can say what i want to say and the fact now that your name is all over the world it, <laughs> me saying your name is nothing i mean you know it doesn't mean anything but anyway like i was saying but I, I you know like i said i would never say that i would never go to a church but as far as being a member of the church no ma'am i will continue to allow the lord and the holy spirit to do what they he needs to do in my life i i love to study the word i love seeking truth i am on a journey of truth i'm tired of being lied to in the building i'm tired of being pimped out for my money i'm tired of being manipulated i'm tired of being gaslighted um, i'm just tired of all of these evil things that happens inside the building i mean i'm up here trying to convince my family my husband to come with me two words in the church and only for the for for this type of foolishness like <laughs> oh um when you're gonna get Derek to come to church girl please my husband he knew something was off but then what i'm trying to say y'all is when we have liars in the buildings in the pulpits call yourself preaching and teaching the word of god no that's a show what you have sis is a gift you have a gift to preach okay you have a gift to do all that hucking and a bucking and a roaring and acting like a man that's what you got you have a gift to do that where's your elegance where's your your the womanly vibes you hardly ever see it when i was in the building i used to be sitting there like dang why she gotta act like that she why she gotta act so hard like that's just just straight up ghetto hood and ratchet in my opinion like when i think back now a lot of your tendencies in the pulpit women preachers and not all of them but at the last church i attended which is worse than a church in raleigh north carolina I, I, my eyebrows was up all the time like mm, I don't know about that something ain't right with you only for it to come out and be some foolishness like this like yes I'm, yes, I'm disappointed and by the grace of God he, he's helping me to get over my frustration and my my pain of, of the whole situation you know and like I said I forgive you Sonya Walker Spence Sonya Spence Walker for me okay I forgive you for myself because I went to you through text message to try for you to you had an opportunity to to talk with me to ask for forgiveness and all of that but you chose like I said to be a coward to 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 walk uh operate in the spirit of Jezebel and pride and so now look what happened to you okay warning comes before the fall sis okay so anyway like i was saying y'all excuse this video a little different I told y'all i just i this is a part of my healing this is a part of me regaining my strength back my peace back by talking about how being up under a deceitful leader at the last church that i attended and also you were my first lady as well when tori was at the church i am the oldest 
to be honest with you, out of that youth group of Providence Holy Church back in the day, okay? I am one of the kids who mother knew your dirty little secret. For whatever reason why she didn't tell, I don't know. I wish she was living today so I can ask a leader, like, girl, why you ain't say something? You said something to me, you wanted to make sure she didn't do nothing to your kid, and I appreciate that, but <laughs> I wouldn't have had it anyway. But see, I didn't show tendencies of that type of lifestyle, so she she ain't never approached me in that way. I just kept kids. That's about it. But anyway, like I said, it's just sad. It's very, very, very sad, and it's very heartbreaking and disgusting to know that this is the type of leader that you are. And even, oh, everybody has a pass. Everybody do. Of course, everybody has a pass. Well, duh. We all have a pass. We all fall short of the glory of God. What makes me different from you, Sonya, is this. I don't have a desire to be a pastor. I don't have a desire to be the president of the United States. I don't have a desire to run for any political position. I don't need to be. I don't need all that. Okay? I'm just trying to be the best woman that God has it created me to be in this life. I don't care about the fame and the fortune and all of that foolishness. But see, you let when we let our positions of power get to our head, and then when God uh, expose you for the dirt that's in your closet, oh girl, you know we gotta take some some stuff. You gotta take to your grave. Well, guess what, boo boo. <laughs> No, ma'am, you, you, you didn't get to take this dirt to your grave. God allowed you, Sonya, to be exposed for a reason. This wasn't by happerstats. This wasn't no mistake. This wasn't all Tori's fault. No, this was all your fault. All your fault. You, had, you were the only heartbeat in this earth that could have stopped Tori from unaliving herself. But you your pride your heartless heart wouldn't allow you to do the right thing so you know like i said it is what it is but again as i was saying as far as how this whole traumatic situation has affected me uh the fact that i knew you the longest the fact that my mother knew exactly what you represented or your past but we'll let's be honest and say your past alleged your past and during that time i didn't even believe my mom my own mom i didn't even believe her i took up for you sis i like no ma you crazy she ain't did no mess like that like just because she hanging out with tori and you know doing things for her don't mean that they getting down like that wish i could have another conversation with my mom you know it's just like you know Whenever somebody, you guys, is trying to warn you about somebody, please <laughs> don't be so quick to dismiss information that's being brought to you. I'm not saying that you right out the gate believe everything that somebody is saying. That's not what I'm saying. But I am what I'm learning through this. If somebody brings some information to me for whatever purposes that they feel they need to, and if it's something that can be this traumatic and cause such a catastrophic wave of trauma in the body of Christ or in anybody's life, absolutely, I'm going to consider what's being brought to me. It, a lot. I feel like this, God is allowing me to hear it for a reason. The God is allowing the person to bring the information to my life, you know, to me for a reason so that I can be aware the Bible even tells us to be aware of false doctrines and teachers. You know, whenever you are a leader, a pastor in the church, a pastor, a bishop, an elder, a minister, an overseer, a apostle, whoever you want to be, whatever title you feel like you need to wear, you need to be careful. Check yourself. Because if you don't, the Holy Spirit going to check you. And people are like, girl, how dare you talk? Let me tell you something. I, I, the reason why I talk about leaders like the way I do, 
and with so much boldness because I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of these wicked, defeat, deceitful, no good for nothing people in the pulpit. And that's in all churches across the globe. Okay? Period. Get your, get your crap together. You always want to talk about the people. Talking about witches and warlocks. You the head witch. Like, that spirit dwells in you, which is being passed on to the people. What you do, your people going to do. Like, come on now. Let's get it together. And like I said, I have a right to say what I want to say to about my last uh, church leader at Word Center Church, Sonya Walker. Whether people like it or not, hey, like I said, it's all over the internet. If it's on on the internet, then it's free. It's free will, free game. If I can talk about TDJs, then I can talk about you too. Period. Okay. But anyway, you know, it, time out, y'all. We gotta stop doing that. Like that. These are the things. This is why I say, not only was it tragic what happened to Tori, but it's very tragic the fact that I feel the way that I feel about my last pastor. Like, I shouldn't even be having this conversation. I shouldn't even be saying these things. But, you know, the funny thing about it is that the whole time I came, like I said, grew up in Providence Holy Church. Everybody know that, okay? She was my first lady at the time. Then we went over to Harvest Ministry. She was still the first lady. And then that's when all, a lot of foolishness and all that stuff started to go down, too. But anyway, then life happens, separate from that church go to another church, me and my husband, my family, whatever, trying to do our own thing. And then for whatever reason, in 2019, I came back to Word Center Church. And if, if you only knew how mad I am at myself, like, girl, you, why? Why did you even consider giving Sonya another chance to be your pastor? Why? Well, I'm going to tell you why. Because... It was I felt like it was a safe place I felt like it was familiar familiar church I knew the people my family was there so I felt like you know what it'll be okay I tried the big mega churches where you got 3,000 plus members and in churches like that you feel so lost it's so many people the pastor the bishop they don't even know you they see they might recognize your name but knowing me knowing my name like dude you don't even know me so that was one of the reasons why I decided to go back to Word Center Church. But in my time of being there from 2019 up until December 31st of 2023 was my last time that I have ever stepped foot on that ground over there. God was warning me all along. When I tell you y'all, I felt I was so conflicted in my, in my spirit. Like... Every time I walked into church, I felt a sense of anxiety, um, confusion, like, I, I, it, it was such a dark, demonic feeling that I felt every single time I walked, I walked through words in the church, but I couldn't, I thought, I'm like, okay, Tammy, maybe you, you tripping, like, get it together. Like, why would you say that? Why would you feel like that there's a dark, demonic spirit up in here? You know Sonya. You know her family. You Even your aunts are here. So why would you say that? Well, I'm going to tell you why I say that. One thing I know and two for sure, the Holy Spirit is never going to lead you wrong. When you are truly connected to God and you have a relationship with Him, or I'm going to say even if you are, you have a desire in your heart for truth, nothing but truth and 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 that be your prayer and you speak that out of your mouth god he gonna show you and 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 i just didn't expect for it to be like this i did not expect for god to show me truth the way that it has happened so again while i was there it was just very anxiety uneasy feeling i felt like it was such just such such a dark cloud in that church and i always was saying myself mm, something ain't right even on 
times where you think, oh, we had high church today, everybody hugging and bucking and praising the Lord and all that kind of stuff. But even after that, I'm just like, mm, I was still for, for years, at least, like I said, from 2019 to 2024 or 2023. I, there was times when I would stop coming during the pandemic, wouldn't go months at a time. And she don't have the nerve. Sonya had a nerve to ask my family, uh, it, it, what's wrong with Tammy? Is she in a cult? Like, how dare you? Just because I'm seeking truth? Yeah, I'm in a cult. It's called Yahweh cult. Okay, it's called seek truth. Study, study to show thyself approved. Cult. That's what it's called. I'm like, how dare you say, am I in a cult? Just because I call Yahweh Yah or Abba. He is the Abba Father. Yah Yahweh Yahuwah is actually the the the, the original name of the Creator of the universe, not God. So just because I say that, all of a sudden I got to be a part of a cult. See, little do you know, little does she know, stuff like that, that rubbed me the wrong way. But what I do, stupid me now, I still gave this woman a chance. I still, I try to talk to her. I try to talk to her about ministry. I try to have meetings with Sonya for at least a year and a half. She is almost like she refused to meet, to meet with me, never made time for me everything else was more important than talking to me and i felt like really her doing that now i could see that was god's way of protecting me of protecting my heart from the manipulation the mind games the control and even when we finally did get an opportunity to meet y'all when i tell you she was so calculated she was so like when i think about the meeting that we had i felt like really you really wanted to, you really, she really didn't care. I, I, I really feel like now that you agreed to try to, you know, to help me in ministry, maybe because you felt sorry for me or finally like, well, let me just get this girl what she want. That's how I feel at this point right now. It wasn't sincere. It wasn't genuine because if it was, if you really saw something in me, if you really saw the anointing over my life and what God is doing in my life, it wouldn't have taken you that long to have a meeting with me or to call me or to, you know, keep your promise with, with having a meeting. She would cancel on me so many times. I'm showing up at the church only for her. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I had a late meeting. Oh, I got off from work. Well, well, why even waste your time and try to have a meeting with me if you knew that you, you wasn't going to have no time? That's what I'm talking about, games, mind games. And then when I say something to you about it, you try to make it seem like it's me, like I'm the problem, or, or you don't have time. I'm a bother to you. She made me feel like I was a bother to her instead of really wanting to help me grow in my faith and grow in ministry. And then it's like, well, do you feel like um, you hear from God or do you feel like that you have a gift? Absolutely, I do. The same God that you say you hear from i hear from too the same god that you said speaks to you he speaks to me too you ain't the only one that god speaks to sis i have a strong spirit of discernment and i hate the day that i was not obedient to that discernment i hate that i i should have been left worse in the church y'all a long time ago shouldn't have never even stayed as long as i did but again me trying to give it a chance I remember one time I had a conversation with Sonya on the phone about her click. I mean, first of all, let me tell you something. I hate clicks, okay? I hate armor bears. I hate all that foolishness. To me, why you gotta have all that? You gotta have a whole entourage for what? Like, you you can barely get up to, to do these leaders and even speak to them. You gotta make an appointment. You got to get in line. You know what? <laughs> First of all, you are not that important to me. And I'm not waiting in nobody's line. I'm not. I, I, I refuse to have to send an email. Oh, let me see and let such and such. Let my adjutant check my books and see what I have available. You know what? Forget you and your adjutant too. I don't need all of that foolishness. You're not that important. 
even though you want people to praise you and bow down to you and worship you like you're that important but you you ain't that important to me and like i said you know mad at myself because i did not follow my intuitions i did not follow the lead of the holy spirit when he was telling me tammy leave it alone Sonya does not want to even entertain a thought of you going into ministry because she know the anointing that's on my on my life. Sonya knew. She even told me, "You just like your mama. Do you?" When my mom died, she said, "I don't even think you realize the mantle that your mom has left or the legacy." Absolutely, I understand my assignment very well. The problem is, I think you were afraid of the mantle that my mother left for me because you want everything to be as long as you can keep me submitted to you and submissive to you you didn't you 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 didn't want me to go into ministry but i thank god god is so good i thank god for opening up my eyes and letting me see you know what i don't i my time is just as valuable as your time sis okay uh if if you say you're gonna call me i, I you i you need to call me <laughs> I, you got at least three days to call me back okay if i do a paper for you a homework assignment you you got about a week and a half to turn around with the response not a freaking month the fact that you took a month to come back and tell me about my paper that i did y'all what i'm giving you is all examples all the things that i went through with Sonya when it comes to manipulation, gaslighting, behavior from her. I've come to the conclusion that this this is a clear definition of a narcissist, a female narcissist, a person that wants to be into in control, a one a person that's good at blackballing you, gaslighting you, manipulating you, a person that does not have a conscience, a person that is so self-centered and only care about care about yourself a person that how you going to be a leader and you pray for the same people all the time you never had a word for me you never had a word for my family like if 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 y'all when i was at works in the church the only time sonya ever laid hands on me or prayed for me is if i went up to the altar and asked for prayer but as far as you saying you know you say God speaks to you. You say God's tell you stuff about your members. Well, clearly he won't tell you nothing about me. Or maybe he was. Maybe you knew that. You know what? I ain't going to mess with her. Or I ain't going to mess with her family. Because, you know, they know too much. I, I, I'm really beginning to think that that's what it really was. She didn't want to deal with us because she already knew. But anyway, y'all. Like I said, I don't want to make this video too long. But today was just basically... You know telling you guys about the trauma that i experienced from the hands of sonya walker the pastor of word center church and she was also my first lady at providence holy church when i was a youth and you know just i'm over it y'all i'm over the church politics i'm over the favoritism i'm over the cliques i'm over all of that i've come to the conclusion that most churches and hear me and hear me clearly most churches across the globe is nothing but a synagogue of sin that's it you got the sin in the world and you got the sin in the church they're doing the same thing what's the there's no difference the sin that's going on in the church is the same sin that's going on in the world the same sin that's going on in the pulpits preaching teaching and all this stuff wicked doctrines is the same sin that's going on in the world there is no difference but yet they say holiness is still right but not to leaders that do this type of behavior okay but anyway y'all let me see what time it is it is 4 40 i'm about to go in here put my clothes on change my clothes i got on lounge clothes right now so that we can go and ride some go-karts and just try to have a little bit of fun but i hope you guys are you know having a good day hope y'all have a good weekend and I'm going to talk to y'all later, okay? I I'm going to catch back up with y'all maybe later on today or tomorrow, okay? Take care. Bye.